YouTubers, your boy Rook here on a very unexpected toy hunt. Wasn't even expecting to do a toy hunt today, but I went out to a local mall and I came across a couple very interesting things. I even picked up a couple really cool products. Let me spin bag here. I actually got some stuff at Hot Topic and a place called Go Toys. But I'm in Macy's right now, and this is what I want to bring your attention to. It's the Visit Our Toy Shop on Level 1. Guess what's coming in Macy's? toys on 2022. I've talked about this before on a recent stream. I've taken some images, but it looks like this particular Macy's at a, a mall that's not really near me. It's about 20 to 30 minutes away. They have their toy section and it is full, fully stocked and up and running. So as you can see here, uh, there's a lot of product going on in this particular location. I'm very, very surprised that they put all this stuff here. It's very, very cool what they have going on at this particular location. I just want to give you guys sort of a an overview of all the product they have here. They have Funko stuff here. They have uh, some Buzz Lightyear stuff on this area. They even have them on sale, which is very expected to me. I didn't even think we had them. Spin the camera back around again here. I wasn't even expecting to see this sort of product at this location. It kind of caught me off guard. I had to do like a double check. I'm like, wait a minute. They have all this stuff here compared to what I shot content for about three months ago. Wait around so you can see some more stuff. Just uh, part of my little uh, blurbs there. I wasn't expecting to see this amount of product here. Uh, they have looked like some type of laser tag guns here. 50% off here. I'm very surprised at some of the product at this location. And that's why I wanted to shoot some video really quickly for you guys to say maybe, maybe Macy's by your mall might be coming into its own finally and actually putting product up. Again, very, very surprised of the stuff they're putting here. Apologies for the jerky camera. Um, again, I'm shooting this on my particular mobile phone right now just to shoot some content so you can see what it looks like. Very surprised. Here's some of the Mandalorian stuff here. Uh, again, really caught me by surprise. You can kind of hear that in my voice and my tone. Wasn't expecting this sort of stuff here, uh, but I'm very pleasantly surprised. They're actually putting product out finally for the merger from Toys R Us into the Macy's areas by your local malls. We have some of the legacy stuff here from the, uh, just the, uh, 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 basically G2 version of Optimus Prime. I had to get the name correctly there. Apologies for that. Um, but they're having more products. So I'm very, very pleasantly surprised of all the stuff that is coming to your Macy's. They have, even have a little gaming area here. Even, again, stuff on sale. Very surprised of this. I want, again, want to shoot a few minute video of this stuff that's here and more, uh, probably more stuff coming, I would assume, near the Christmas time. That's when the, this place will probably really start booming, I would assume. Uh, but again, very, very surprised of the stuff they have in this location. Uh, check XC's by you. You might see product like this here. Again, very surprised of this sort of stuff we're seeing. We're seeing lots of games here. So again, very, very surprised of this stuff. I'm going to be showing Kate and really showcasing this near the end of this quick little video. Some Hot Topic stuff, some cool swag. Unfortunately, I did not chant of me finding this stuff because it again happened at the cup. Wasn't expecting to pull anything today, but I'm gonna shoot some you know again, quick content for you guys and showcase off the really cool stuff I found at the end of this video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I made one other stop before I decided to head out to my car, and I stopped at FYE. And unfortunately, they have what I want, but I'm not paying the price for these items. I'm gonna spin the camera around so you can see they have the Blackest Night figures that I've been chasing for, wanting very badly. You can see they have almost every single figure. They even have a really cool Sokotano from the Mandalorian, which is a different sculpt based on the Mandalorian version of Sokotano. Unfortunately, the biggest problem I have with these Blackest Night figures is that right there. I refuse, and yes, refuse woo, to spend $36.99 per figure. These are 24, 22 and 24 dollar figures all day, every day. This is a massive markup. I refuse to pay that type of money. Even though I want these figures exceptionally bad, I will not. And your boy means will not buy these figures for that price. So unfortunately, I have to pass on this product. It breaks my heart that I have to leave this stuff on the shelf, but I will not. And your boy means, woo, will not go to corporate greed and spend $36.99 per figure. That is absurd. If you're spending that type of money, I highly, highly recommend buying your figures elsewhere. And now we're going to wrap up this video. I'm going to showcase the items off that I picked up on this toy hunt. All right, guys, my unexpected toy hunt is complete. I went to this particular mall because it's close to a place to get my hair dyed. You see it all gray right now. It won't be gray when you see it on the stream in the next few days. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get my hair dyed. But before I went to get my hair dyed, I said, you know what? Let me do a quick little toy hunt. Kind of unexpected, off the cuff. I went to the Macy's 
near this particular mall, about from my house, is about 20, 30 minutes away. I said, let me go there, see what they have. And I'm walking around and went to that Macy's and I said, let's see if the Jeffrey stuff is there. And lo and behold, they had a bunch of product. I'm very happy that the Jeffrey stuff is now showcasing and showing up rather in 2022. The one by my house, really close, they had nothing. And that was about three months ago and they had absolutely garbage, had trash, wasn't good at all. But I want to showcase off some of the stuff I picked up here. I didn't get it on camera, unfortunately. I'll showcase it off to you now. I'll talk shortly about the stuff at FYE and Blackest Night. Don't you worry about that. I'm going to come back, put a pin on that. Trust you me. So let me showcase what I picked up here. I got two items at Hot Topic. First, based, of course, on the new House of Dragon TV show on HBO Max, or rather HBO Max for me, uh, is Renera Targaryen. This, of course, is a prequel movie based on the Game of Thrones stuff. A very cool character. I might do a review just on her. She's brand spanking new. She just came out a few short, I want to say about a week, week and a half ago. She's really new. Um, really cool looking character. Highly recommend watching the show if you've never seen it yet. Very, very cool show. Highly recommend House of Dragon. Very cool. Next, as you guys may or may not know, if you're very, this is your very first toy hunt, definitely click and smash that subscribe button. Um, but I'm a big Queen fan, and uh, if you're not familiar, Queen got together with uh, the movie company and did a movie based, of course, on the old Flash Gordon property, and they did the entire soundtrack. And they have a one-off album pop style based, of course, on Queen and Freddie Mercury with the Flash Gordon backdrop. Now, if you notice the outfit that Freddie's dressed up with here is the same outfit that the Flash Gordon character, of course, Flash himself, is dressed up in the movie. Um, this is the only time you ever see that I have seen this Freddie Mercury pop wearing these colors. And he just has the Flash Gordon look to him. When they did the music video for Flash Gordon with Queen, this is the outfit that Freddie was walking around in the video with. So it's very cool that they went back and redesigned this particular Freddie to have that outfit based on that video. I think it's very, very cool that they did that. I like that idea. This will 100% be coming out of package, being hung on the wall. 100% definitely doing that. Then I went to a place called Go Toys. You may or may not know of them. Uh, they do a lot of stuff like calendars. They do uh, toys. Um, sometimes they're very highly marked up. And they're usually a pop-up store that will come near the end of a year, go list going into your holiday seasons, and they'll have a bunch of calendars in a little um, little kiosk, in a little section in most malls. That's what they normally do. And this particular location at this mall here has them as a full, uh, full freestanding store called Go Toys. Um, uh, here's the bag of what the place looks like. It says Go Toys on it right there. And I'm looking around, just browsing the shelves, and I spotted something, and my eyes went, whoa. And that is the Micro Squadron Chase figure, Luke Skywalker, one of 5,000 Chase figures. So a rook, woo, your boy, hit a chase. Woo, that's going to be probably a thumbnail right there. Right there. Bang. Woo. Very surprised I hit this. Um, I was going to pass on this. The price of this item, well, first the price of the Pops. I believe she was she was twelve ninety. The Freddy I believe was twenty bucks. This guy here was twenty six ninety. I was going to pass on this, but I said you know what? It's probably marked up about thirty to thirty five percent. I think these go for about twenty. I think there's twenty bucks at Walmart or Target you can buy these for. But this is the Chase version. I've seen them on eBay going anywhere from sixty up to a hundred dollars. That the the price is all over the place. I think the only real difference that makes this one the Chase you have a different version. You have Luke in the Jedi outfit in R2. The normal version has him, I think, in his uh, Empire Strikes Back flight suit, not the Return of the Jedi suit here. So you get a different figure here. You get both Luke and R2, and I believe the canopy compared to the original version of the X-wing. I think this might glow in the dark because the way this color looks, the color looks like this, looked like a green, weird green color. It may glow in the dark. It may not. I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, I got myself a chase here. We're going to definitely flip this thing here. Again, it's one of 5,000 first. Of course, again, this is the launch edition, which is the first edition version of these products. They did make two chases I mentioned before. Here is the other chase here, which they talked about it in the last toy hunt. The TIE fighter where the wings collapse down. That's the other chase. So they only have two chases. They have this one here, and of course, the TIE Fighter one right there. Those are two chases they have. They had the, they don't have it on this one, but they had the Razor Crest at that Go Toys. The problem is they're charging for that Razor Crest was $45. I wasn't gonna spend $45 for it. I think it goes for about 30 bucks. I think it's $29.99, $30 on most places. You could probably get it at your, market, at your Walmarts and your Targets is where I'm probably gonna go to get that Razor Crest. It looks really cool. Definitely wanna pick it up and do an unboxing for it. 
Last thing I want to talk about before I end this toy hunt kind of uh, recap is the FYE when I went in there and when I shot that portion of the video. Uh, the product, the prices there are ridiculous. I recommend no one buys any action figure products from FYE. I'm going to blast them for this because they're charging a 50% markup. Those Blackest Night figures normally, if you go to, let's say, a Walmart or a Target and pay MSRP pricing for those figures, they normally run you about $22 to $24.99. That's even marked up now compared to what it was to a couple years ago. Those figures were uh, priced as $36.99. That's a 50% markup, comparatively speaking, across a particular figure from location to location. I want those figures bad. Trust you, me, guys. I want them really, really really bad, but I will not spend $36.99 per figure. I can't pull the trigger. I won't do it. Even though I had it, you saw me hold it in my hands. I could have absolutely bought those figures for $36.99, but I knew I would have been getting ripped off massively compared to what have been for those figures normally. I was not going to spend that type of money for what I know if I wait just a little bit longer, probably another month, maybe a few weeks or maybe up to a month, my local targets and Walmart so we're going to get those same exact figures for a much cheaper price. So I definitely recommend do not buy any action figures at FYE at all. If you can definitely get them somewhere else, get them somewhere else besides FYE. If you go to buy Funko, buy Funko. They usually charge a pretty good price there. You're looking about, you know, your $12 or $13 pops. Those are typical standard MSRP pricing for FYE. Please do not buy action figures at FYE. You're going to get ripped off. They mark those up massively. You saw the markup. $36.99 for the Blackest Night figures is ridiculous. It's unheard of. Do not spend that type of money. Wait to get them at your, mar your markets, your Targets, or your Walmarts. Please, please save the money. Don't rush in. Don't make a stupid purchase. Don't a half cock. Don't buy it right now. If you get it for a better deal, hold off for the better or best deal you can get. So I want to thank everybody who watched this particular toy hunt. Again, super quick, unexpected. Remember to click the like button on the page. Click the subscribe button, which will picture my face. When you subscribe to click the bell icon to be notified for my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next toy hunt. And bye-bye. Thank you.